welcome to the ESE PYQ session again. Yes, in these sessions we are discussing the engineering services previous question of 2017, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22 and 23 that is the past 7 years. 2017 from where the new pattern of IES was introduced which is currently followed. Right guys? Okay. And then today in control systems we are going to discuss up the questions. Okay. The questions and the concepts of controllers and compensators. Okay. The questions. Okay, the of the controllers and compensators in the previous years of engineering services, this is one area, especially in engineering services, which produces question, sometimes numerical, but mostly on the understanding of, you know, like lead lag network or the PDPI, PID controllers, especially uh, focused on the important conclusion. So let's see. And with this particular session, you will revise all those important conclusions of uh, the different controllers and the compensators. Okay, of course, some questions will be numerical in nature, but most of them are mostly like, you know, uh, the factual based. Once you have gone through all the controllers like P, PD, PI, PID controller, tachometer controller or the lead, ne lead network, lag letter, lead lag and lag lead networks, all those things, all those conclusions will come into play. So, let's get started quickly. This is a brief intro that you all know. Okay, guys, so whatever we discuss today, like all other my class, all my other classes, okay, I'll share you the complete PDF, not only the question, but with the whatever we discuss, the solutions, the formula, the concepts in my telegram group. And also, you can be connected in the telegram for more concepts, okay, for important uh, PDFs, important exam updates and notifications relevant to you, okay, relevant to all the gate aspirant so this is the link of the telegram you can join and also guys the upsc esc results have been declared okay and also the phase one interview starts tomorrow 13 september the phase one candidate interview starts and even the phase two list is declared so interviews now have started and at the byju's exam prep also we have started the free mock interview with the expert panel Okay, free mock interview with the expert panel and in the panel you will see some of the members which are very similar to what is there in the actual UPSC interviews. Okay, today also the complete entire day I was also a part of the you know expert panel for technical questions. I was of the part of the panel and for electronics and electrical and throughout since morning 10 till evening just 7.30 we were busy in this mock interviews and after that only two day slots is available. If you are one of them, okay, you can appear on 16th and 17th. Only these two day slots are available for this free mock interview at the Noida Sector 125 location. If you are wanting to avail the free mock interview, okay, you can find the link in the description where you can share your results so that the team can coordinate and contact with you, okay, and book your appointments accordingly. Chalo. Now you will find that many of the factual questions are very simple also, are very simple, just definition based. Let's go through all of the questions. The, SIPs, the subsystem that generates the input to the plant or process is known as what? Okay, input to the plant or to the process is known as what? Okay, if this is the plant, say having the transfer function GS, okay, this is where you use the controller, okay, which takes the input as the error signal and produce the actuating signal UT. Okay, so the subsystem that generates the input to the process, the input to the actual plant is what is known as the controller. That is what is known as the controller. That is what is known as the controller. That is what is known as the controller, right? Chalo, next. So many questions will be one liner only here. Okay, but yeah, some will be numerical also. For the derivative control action, the actuating signal consists of proportional error signal added with what? So now we are talking about derivative error signal. Okay, the actuating signal consists of proportional part added with what? So okay, basically we are talking about PD controller, proportional derivative controller. Okay, where the actuating signal also contains a proportional error part and proportional error part is KPET, which is proportional to error. If the error increases, uh, the actuating signal also increases added with the derivative of the error signal added with the derivative of the er error signal and that is known as KD uh, with some coefficient that is known as KD. The value of KP and KD depends on the desired performance of the system. Whatever speed you want to desire from the system or wherever you want to place the location uh, poles of the system based on whatever specifications you want from the system the KP and KD values are decided accordingly. When you convert this into the Laplace domain you get Okay, KPES plus derivative, you know, derivative Laplace transform is multiplied by S. So, S into KD will come, okay, into ES common. Now, the ratio of, that is what, na? okay, when you convert into S domain, okay, this will be US and this is ES and the ratio of actuating signal to the error signal, that is the ratio of output to input is known as the error, is known as the transfer function of any block, okay, so that is known as GCS. 
that is known as the gain of the controller actuating signal is divided by error signal and here that is nothing but kp plus skd okay although the question is just one liner question only question is asking the actuating signal consists of proportional consist of proportional error signal added with the derivative of the error signal added with what added with the derivative of the error signal it is asking you a fundamental one liner question only right very good evening dreamer next question the characteristics of the mode of a controller are summarized in front of you and you have to tell what should be the controller you have to tell what should be the mode of the controller if the error is zero output from the controller is also zero okay number one property if the error is constant then also the output of the controller is zero now yahan se hint mila mere ko okay if the error is constant then also the output from the controller is zero then also the output from the controller is zero the derivative of a constant can be zero so there is definitely a derivative part there is definitely a derivative part this definitely hints about being derivative okay whenever the derivative of the error is zero okay whenever the derivative of the kya bola hai okay if the error is constant the derivative of constant will be zero that is why the output from the controller is zero that is why some derivative action is involved just wait on guys ठीक है या कम बैक यस गुड इवनिंग मनास्वी ओके सो इट इज हिंटिंग अबाउट डेरिवेटिव नाउ वेदर इट इज डेरिवेटिव और प्रपोर्शनल डेरिवेटिव वेदर इट इज डेरिवेटिव सपोज इफ इट वाज प्रपोर्शनल डेरिवेटिव ना सपोज इफ इट वाज प्रपोर्शनल डेरिवेटिव जस्ट नाउ आई टोल्ड यू ना देन दिस इज गिवन बाय के पी इंटू ई टी प्लस के डी इंटू द डेरिवेटिव पार्ट सो इफ इट वॉज प्रपोर्शनल डेरिवेटिव ओके एंड इफ द एरर इज कॉन्स्टेंट इन टाइम तो आउटपुट के नॉट बी जीरो ना output cannot be zero this is constant the derivative part will be zero but proportional will still be there okay so it has to be only proportional it has to be only proportional okay such that the actuating signal is just the derivative of the error signal with some coefficient of course which i will call it as kd only okay so it is a derivative controller not even the pd controller correct dreamer okay correct dreamer okay then of course by these two only we have got the answer for changing error in time output of the controller is k percent now we can calculate the rate of change of output that is okay not required for positive rate of change of error output is also positive right na correct positive rate of change of error okay positive rate of change of error ut will be positive only simple one but from the first two we got the conclusion okay double 2017 previous one was ec 17 ec 2000 so the multiple years you are able to find the direct questions are there okay based on the understanding what is the effect on the natural frequency and damping factor delta or you can call it as zeta in the control system when pd compensation is used in the pd compensation okay there is no change in the omega n but the damping ratio zeta or you what is call your delta okay the damping ratio that is increased that is increased and is given by the formula suppose the new damping ratio is given by the formula zeta plus omega n kd divided by 2 you need not remember this formula but at least the conclusions are important so damping ratio is increased and omega n is unchanged option number b is correct now you must know this see okay you must know it we are not deriving the pd controller here we are solving the upsc engineering services previous year questions asked okay but of course if you want the derivation and if you want more details on this you can find my previous lectures available on the youtube with respect to these topics with respect to controllers or with respect to compensators theek okay? hai next question is here which one of the following is not correct is not correct with respect to pd again pd controller okay again pd controller definitely one thing i told you definitely one thing i told you just now i told you that zeta increases okay that means okay it improves the damping because it has increased the damping ratio this is true and because it has improved it has increased the zeta so overshoot will definitely decrease because whenever damping increases the overshoot in the system decreases so this is also true okay it reduces the rise time as well as settling time correct okay we are, again we are not deriving it 
Okay, this is correct. And whenever the rise time increase, the bandwidth also will increase. The bandwidth also will increase. This is the false statement. It will increase the bandwidth. And that is why the noise effect is uh, more here. Okay, because bandwidth is more. So, high frequency components like noise can interfere and can uh, disrupt the system more. Okay, the option number C is not correct. It will increase the bandwidth. Okay, bandwidth and rise time are inversely proportional to each other. It will reduce the rise time, but it will increase the bandwidth. It will increase the bandwidth. Bandwidth of a system is proportional to 1 upon TR. That is inversely proportional to the inversely proportional to the right time TR. Okay. Chalo. Done. Eh? Next question is here. Okay. Now this is a numeric question. Compensation derived from the PD network whose differential equation is governed by E naught equal to 20 EI plus T DI by DT as shown in the figure is to be investigated. For what value of T the closed loop response will be critically damped. Ultimately, ultimately it's a fundamental question on the transient parameter only on the transient response only okay closed loop response to be critically damped what should be the value of t the system response is critically damped for what value of damping ratio for critically damped we should have the zeta equal to 1 okay for critically damped we should have what we should have the zeta equal to 1 so chalo, let us see the case for zeta equal to 1 first of all okay isko dekhna aap. okay when you convert this to the laplace domain okay this will be e naught s this will be the e naught s okay that is the, that is the output of this that is the output here ei is the input e naught is the output okay and that is given by 20 okay into eis plus t derivative so it will be multiplied by s it will be multiplied by the s okay so ultimately when you want to calculate the transfer function of this pd controller Okay, you need the ratio of output to the input in Laplace domain. So, what is the value of E0 upon EI? E0 upon EI ka value ho jayega. EI could le common like a divide kiya. So, it becomes 20 into the 1 plus ST. Ye nikaal liya hai dear that the gain of this block is 20 into 1 plus ST. Thik hai? Okay, we know the gain of this block that is 20 into 1 plus ST. Ab aajate hai. Finding the complete characteristic equation and that is given by 1 plus GS into HS. HS to 1 hai. So 1 plus GS. GS is 21 plus ST multiplied by this. These two are in cascade. So gains are multiplied. 40 is divided by S square. 10 S square plus 8 S plus 100. You get 10 S square plus 8 S plus 800. Okay, this is the value of GS. HS ka value 1 hai. 1 plus GS HS equal to 0 is the characteristic equation. Now, let me solve it up. Okay, this becomes 10 S square plus 8 S plus 800 plus 20 into 40 will become 800 plus 800 ST equal to 0. Okay, so I will take it as 10 S square. Let us take the S common. So, 8 plus 800 T multiplied by S. 800 plus 800, 1600 equal to 0. Also, the standard characteristic equation should start from S square. So, I will divide by the 10 and then I have S square plus 0 0.8 plus ATT. 0 0.8 plus ATT into S plus 160 equal to 0. Very clearly, from here, the value of omega n is under root of 160. Okay, under root of... Uh, it can be written as 4 root 10. Right now under root of 16. Let, let it be 4 root 10. Baad mein solve karte. Okay. Now what about this? This is known as 2 zeta omega n. This is what? This is the 2 zeta omega n. So if I solve for this. 2 zeta omega n is 0 0.8 plus 8 tt. Yahan se aapka answer aa jayega. Okay. So 2 into zeta. Critically damped condition given zeta should be 1. Omega n is how much? 4 root 10 is equal to 0 0.8 plus ATT. Okay, so this is 2 4 8. Root 10 is 3.16 approximately minus 0 0.8 whole divided by AT. This will be the final answer with respect to T. This will be the final answer with respect to what? With respect to T. So 8 8 cancel 0 0.316 minus here also 8 8 get cancelled minus 0. Point, okay, 0 1 minus 0. Point, 0, 1. This is the value of t. So, what is t? It is actually ye 1 set cancel over 0.306. Okay. Even if it is engineering services prelims question, we are able to do the calculation without calculator. Okay. It is solvable without calculator. So, uska bhi tension nahi lene ka hai. 
it is 0.306 option number C dear it is the 0.306 correct dreamer correct answer so option number C is very much correct moving ahead to the next question here which error time graph is relevant to the following integral mode controller output 2023 double E question current year question okay it is relevant which of the following time graph is relevant to the which of the following that is a b c d it is relevant to the following integral mode controller output integral mode controller output okay this is the output of the controller which is the integral mode controller integral mode controller okay now this is rising okay whenever the output of integrator is rising linearly that means okay you are integrating a constant basic math supply karo no you are integrating a constant okay you are integrating a constant acha yeah let's say you differentiate it vice versa bhi kar do na if you differentiate it differentiation of zero will be zero but differentiation of straight line is constant na okay straight line is like y equal to mx when you differentiate y dash that will be m that is constant so think about reverse okay if this is the controlled output of a integrator so when you differentiate it you will get the input okay you will get the input okay you will get the input okay input means the error needed the error graph okay error is the error means what it is the input to the controller okay so for initial part it should be constant and then it for initial part it should be zero and after that it should be y dash equal to m some constant that is option number b that is the option number b that is the option number b is the very correct answer okay option number b of course here definitely the coefficient must be negative okay here the coefficient must be negative because okay because the constant is coming in the negative side that means it must be of the form d by dt of the error signal with some coefficient minus ki with some coefficient minus ki clear okay right so when you differentiate this sorry okay man der derivative likh diya kya i'm sorry okay it should be integral et dt okay with minus ki and when you integrate this particular gart at this particular part you are able to match the option number or given output waveform so only possible option that matches is option number b okay that is the option number b the transfer function of a pid controller proportional integral derivative it includes the proportional part okay generally we write it see how do you write the actuating signal okay it contains the proportional error part kp into et it includes the derivative part also so d by dt of et but multiplied by some constant e and also it includes the integral part that is ki integral et dt okay integral et dt okay the proportional part the derivative part the integral part okay so that is why when you convert into the laplace domain you get you get what you get kp multiplied by the es प्लस डेरिवेटिव से एस आ जाएगा तो एस के डी इंटू ई एस ओके प्लस इंटीग्रल वॉट इज द लप्लास ट्रांसफॉर्म ऑफ इंटीग्रल वन अपॉन एस तो वन अपॉन एस इंटू ई एस सो के आई बाई एस इंटू ई एस नो वेन यू डिवाइड ई एस ऑन द लेफ्ट साइड यू गेट के पी प्लस एस के डी ओके द रेशो ऑफ एक्चुएटिंग सिग्नल बाई एर सिग्नल इन द एस डोमेन ओके दैट विल बी के पी प्लस वॉट प्लस द एस के डी प्लस द के आई डिवाइड बाई एस ओके दैट इज द गेन ऑफ दिस पर्टिकुलर कंट्रोलर that is there in the option number b okay okay this is proportional part this is derivative and this is integral pid this is pid now in the exam time also you are not deriving it okay you should directly write down the answer na you should directly write down the answer this was for a quick recap ki how do you uh, take up the output of uh, the pid controller done चलो कंसिडर द फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट्स रिगार्डिंग अ पीआईडी कंट्रोलर अगेन बेस्ड ऑन द पीआईडी कंट्रोलर कंसिडर द फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट्स द एरर इज मल्टीप्लाइड बाय अ नेगेटिव फॉर रिवर्स एक्शन प्रोपोर्शनल कांस्टेंट एंड एडेड टू द करंट आउटपुट डेफिनेटली द एरर ओके द एरर ओके हैज अ प्रोपोर्शनल द द आउटपुट ओके व्हिच इज एडेड टू द करंट आउटपुट सो दिस करंट आउटपुट हैज अ प्रोपोर्शनल पार्ट आल्सो ओके एंड फॉर द रिवर्स एक्शन वी हैव द केपी व्हिच इज नेगेटिव आल्सो द एरर इज देन इंटीग्रेटेड okay over a period of time and then divided by a constant i is that correct okay it is divided nay it is actually multiplied by some constant ki okay and then added to the current output so i will call this as wrong this was true third pe aa jayenge the rate of change of the error is calculated with respect to time correct rate of change of error is calculated with respect to time okay multiplied by another constant d ya kd whatever name we call it as okay and then added with the output this is correct so 1 and 3 are correct option number b 1 and 3 are correct option number b it is 
okay one and three option number b okay next question dear okay again uh, it is based on pid controller yeah again two statement is given and you have to choose any one of the four options which of the statement is true and whether they are supporting each other or not okay statement number one and statement number two in ko dekhna hai pid controller is an essential part of any control loop in process industry yes okay in the process control it is a very integral part it is a very essential part we can't deny it so ye to ho gaya true okay pid control system performs better than most predictive okay performs better than most predictive control methods in the context of measured disturbances see this may be true this may not be true because okay we are especially talking in terms of the measured disturbances let's say we are talking in terms of noise also so it depends if the derivative part is heavy here it has three elements here okay and we know that we know that if the derivative part is heavy if the d part is heavy if the kd part is heavy it will increase the bandwidth of the system and hence the effect of noise or the disturbance is more okay that is why we can't say this in general that it is better than most okay suppose we wanted to design a system okay we wanted to design a system okay for for high bandwidth purpose also okay yeah we want to design the system such that it is more stable the d the pd controller actually the derivative the derivative part specially adds to the stability because it pulls the pole to the left half plane okay for stability point of view you are maybe you are making the derivative part heavy but that will increase the bandwidth more chances of noise effect so we can't generalize this it is partially true partially not true so we can't call it as a conclusion okay okay we call we can't call it as conclusion this is not generally true this is not always true okay so correct answer that you can choose here is statement one is true but second is false one is true but the second is false clear everybody okay we shall be going to the next question okay chalo have a look into this question i just need a one minute pause so that you solve this question yes dear yeah okay for a lead compensator whose transfer function is given by k s plus a upon s plus b what is the condition now lead compensator means zero dominant lead compensator means zero dominant dominant means zero is more closer to the origin okay zero is more closer to the origin as compared to pole right so if you want to discuss what is the pole and zero for this so zero is s equal to minus a s plus a equal to zero karenge for pole we calculate from the denominator term and s equal to minus b will be the pole okay now we want zero dominance okay so zero minus a should come first the pole minus b should come next okay and now if you compare the magnitude definitely a is less than b definitely a less than b option number a these are very expected questions these are very expected questions theek hai and not only this based on this similar question here for the lead compensator having the transfer function okay having the transfer function definitely okay what is the zero here let me again write down the zero here is s equal to the zero here is s equal to minus 1 by tau and pole here will be s equal to minus 1 by alpha tau okay guys just maybe 10 uh, 20 more seconds i again need a pause sorry for the disturbance please answer by the time
Yeah, sorry class, let's resume it now. Okay, so uh, the pole and zero locations have been written definitely tau cannot be negative because if you take tau negative, the pole and zero will be in RHP. No, for both the pole and zero of the lead compensator are in LHP with the zero being more dominant. Okay, so tau has to be positive. Okay, now when you take the ratio Zc upon Zp, okay, Zc upon Zp, okay, ye ho gaya Zc, okay, that is one by tau. When you take the ratio Zc upon Pc, sorry, Zc upon Pc, kya hona chahiye? Hey, definitely, definitely, what should be closer? We know that 1 by tau should be greater, less than 1 by alpha tau. Should be less than 1 by alpha tau. Can I say like that? Can I say like that? Because of this condition only, na, A less than B. 0 magnitude should be less than the pole magnitude. Okay, 0 magnitude should be less than the pole magnitude, right? Yeah, aisa bol sakte hai ki 1 upon alpha is greater than 1. Okay, so when you take the Zc upon Pc, okay, when you take the ratio, Zc upon Pc, in ka jab ratio lenge, to 1 upon tau upon 1 upon alpha tau, that will be alpha, right? 1 upon alpha greater than 1, to alpha has to be less than 1. Alpha has to be less than 1, okay? So, this is also correct. Okay, first is correct. So, 1 and 3, option number B. Option number B, 1 and 3. Correct answer, dreamer. It has to be option number B. Okay, right, 2019 question. Okay, 2022, again a similar question. Okay, again a similar question. To see how important these questions are. Again, if you want to talk about zero location, zero is minus one upon T1. And pole ki baat karna chahate ho, to minus one upon T2. Right, okay. Again, for lead, for lead, zero magnitude. Chalo, isko alag se kar dete, because there are multiple options. For lead, the zero dominant, that means the magnitude of zero should be less than the magnitude of pole. Then only the zero is closer to the origin. Okay, zero dominant. 1 upon T1 less than 1 upon T2. So, T1 should be greater than T2 na? because reciprocal is less. Okay, so T1 greater than T2. It is a lead network. Ye ho gaya sahi. Okay, and definitely for lag, it is pole dominant. Matlab pole should be closer. Okay, pole should be closer. Pole dominant hota hai lag. Lag bole to pole dominant. Pole is closer to the origin. That is why the magnitude of pole is less. Okay, ye ho T1. Okay, so that means T2 will be greater than T1. T2 will be greater than T1. Yeah, T1 less than T2. Option number 2 correct. So, 1 and 2 are correct. Definitely other 2 are not correct. Ne, uska reverse bol rahe. Okay, ye uska reverse bol rahe. Okay, so 1 and 2 option number C. It is the 1 and 2 which is the option number C. Clear? 1 and 2 option number C is the correct answer. Okay, 1 and 2 option number C. Chalo, let me move to previous 1 or 2 questions which were missed here. Haan, isko dekhte hai. Theke, pehle isko dekh lete hai. Bandwidth of a control system can be increased by? Bandwidth of the control system can be increased by? Okay, face lead. Face lead increases the bandwidth. I can't say both. Okay, because face lag will decrease the bandwidth. Face lag, okay, with the face lead network, bandwidth increases. With the face lag network, bandwidth decreases. These are general conclusions which you must be aware about lead and lag networks. Of course, there can be some numerics also. There have been also. I will take those also. But many questions you are looking straightforward conclusion based. You have to know in the exam time you can't derive. You should not derive. It's not time, nahi hota, especially in the engineering services examination. Okay, lag network bandwidth decrease, lead network bandwidth increase. Another one, 2017 question. Okay, again, statement one and statement two. You have to analyze both the statements and decide about their true or false nature. Lag network is used to increase the stability as well as the bandwidth. No. Lag network, just a bit bola na. Okay, lag, lag network bandwidth will decrease, not increase. Okay, face lead network increases the bandwidth. Correct. Lead network, just now we discussed this. Okay, so one is false, but second is true. Okay, one is false, but second is true. Option number D. Option number D. Okay, one is false. Isko thoda sa upar kar dete, the option so that it is visible to all. Yeah, statement one is false, but two is true. Okay. So the correct answer was option number. The correct answer was option number D. Okay. Also, guys, you know, of course, we are practicing ESC uh, previous year questions here today. Okay, and other practice sessions are going on YouTube. But you know, several practice sessions live also recorded also available on the Baiju's exam prep 
okay and also not only the practice sessions there are practice quizzes also available okay many toppers of last year also made a habit that every day they will wake up and solve one quiz from the byju's app okay any topic you have choice lots of topic wise quizzes are available okay so morning every morning maybe you can put up a habit of this one or whenever you may be traveling sometime wahan pe bhi aap baithe baithe quiz kar sakte ho the idea is you practice more and you keep competing with the students and you get your name somewhere in the leaderboard and then you get to know ki among the several students preparing where do you stand where do you stand okay so all this on the byju's exam prep app you can get it from the google play store easily if you are not having it uh, this is done this is done डन 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 ये लीजिए नेक्स्ट वन आ दिस वन इज अ न्यूमेरिक ओके द फ्रीक्वेंसी एट विच द मैक्सिम फेस लीड अकर्स द फ्रीक्वेंसी एट विच द मैक्सिम फेस लीड अकर्स ओके राइट no the actual reason manasvi again it is by the analysis the actual reason that it increases the bandwidth is mostly attributed to the increase in gain crossover frequency it adds a uh, it adds a positive magnitude to the system see what is the magnitude graph for the lead network it is something like this okay right after the first crossover frequency okay after the first corner frequency sorry it adds a positive magnitude to the system that is why the overall magnitude curve of the original system okay increases okay and then the gain crossover frequency of the original system is shifted to a higher value that is the primary reason that is one of primary reason here yeah? so that is shifting of omega g gain crossover frequency manasvi theek hai done ha to phase lead network has the transfer function gcs 1 plus 0.0 phase For s uh, divided by one plus zero point zero one s. So what are the corner frequencies? I'll tell you a simple way of solving it. What are the corner frequencies? Okay, the corner frequencies are. If we talk about zero, then one plus s t corner frequency is given by one upon t. Okay, and for the pole term, okay, corner frequency is one upon zero point zero one. For any one plus s t term, corner frequency is one upon t. ठीक है, so this is hundred by four, ये twenty five हो जाएगा, one upon point zero one, this is hundred straight away, and now the frequency at which maximum phase lead occurs, omega m, it is the geometric mean, okay, let's say this is omega c z, okay, and omega c p, corner frequency due to zero, corner frequency due to the pole, okay, and it is the g m of both the corner frequencies, it is the g m, now g m means root over ab so root over 25 into 100 and omega m is actually given by 5 into 10 that is 50 the correct answer is option number b that is the 50 the correct answer for this question is option number b one way is taking the geometric mean of both corner frequency or another way is maybe formula as well so now okay so now you can solve it this way as well generally you can take the compensator transfer function as 1 plus st divided by 1 plus s alpha t 1 plus s alpha t that is also a way of dealing with the question okay which is given to you as 1 plus 0.04 s divided by 1 plus 0.01 s okay 1 plus 0.01 s okay to ye dekho t to aa gaya 0.04 right and alpha into t is 0.01 okay so alpha into 0.04 is equal to 0.01 Okay, so what is the value of alpha? That becomes one by four or zero point two five. Okay, now straightforward formulas, guys. Omega m is given by the formula one by t root alpha. Okay, and phi m. What is that maximum phase? ये तो frequency at which maximum phase lead occurs. What is that maximum phase? It is given by the formula sine inverse of one minus alpha divided by the one plus alpha. साइन इन वर्स ऑफ वन माइनस एल्फा अपॉन वन प्लस एल्फा सो यहाँ पे ओमेगा एम का वैल्यू कितना हो जाएगा ओके वन अपॉन टी रूट एल्फा टी इज जीरो पॉइंट जीरो फोर इन टू रूट ओवर एल्फा दैट इज रूट ओवर वन बाय फोर ओके सो दिस बिकम्स अगेन ये हो जाएगा टू पॉइंट जीरो टू हंड्रेड बाई टू दैट इज गोइंग टू बी फिफ्टी आंसर रिमेन्स टू बी सेम ओनली ना ओके बट राधर देन फाइंडिंग टी एंड एल्फा दू कैन हैव डायरेक्ट मेथड ऑफ द फ्रीक्वेंसी एट विच द मैक्सिमम फेस लीड अकर्स इट इज द जोमेट्रिक मीन ऑफ द टू कॉर्नर फ्रीक्वेंसी हेंस एट इज फिफ्टी यहाँ से भी बोल सकते हैं और यू कैन लुक इन टू दिस फॉर्मुला एज वेल ओके 
द ट्रांसफर फंक्शन ऑफ अ कंपनसेटर इज वन प्लस थ्री एस टी अपॉन वन प्लस एस टी अच्छा नाउ वॉट आई कैन डू इज मैक्सिम पॉसिबल फेस शिफ्ट इज वॉट आई कैन डू इज आई कैन कंपेयर इट विद द स्टैंडर्ड फॉर्मूला बिकॉज टू कैलकुलेट बिकॉज टू कैलकुलेट द मैक्सिम फेस डेफिनेटली आई नीड द वैल्यू ऑफ एल्फा यहाँ पे एल्फा का रिक्वायरमेंट जरूर होगा तो वॉट यू कैन डू इज दिस इज थ्री एस टी ना वॉट यू कैन राइट यू कैन राइट इट एज वन प्लस एस टी डैश लेट एस ए थ्री टी इक्वल टू टी डैश देन डिनोमिनेटर विल बिकम हाउ मच वॉट विल बी द टी वॉट विल बी द टी यू कैन राइट दिस एज टी डैश बाय थ्री वॉट इज द वैल्यू ऑफ टी दैट इज नथिंग बट टी डैश बाय थ्री दैट इज नथिंग बट द टी डैश बाय थ्री वो लिख सकते हैं हम ठीक है लिख लिया टी डैश बाय थ्री ओके सो नाउ फ्रॉम हेयर आई कैन से दैट यू कैन कंपेयर इट इज वन प्लस एस टी डैश डिवाइडेड बाय वन प्लस एस एल्फा टी डैश ओके सो एल्फा इज वन बाय थ्री एल्फा इज वन बाय थ्री एंड एल्फा इज ऑलवेज लेस देन वन एज आई एक्सप्लेन यू इन एनी ऑफ द प्रीवियस क्वेश्चन ऑल्सो सो वॉट इज द फाइव एम द फॉर्मूला इज साइन इन वर्स वन माइनस एल्फा अपॉन वन प्लस एल्फा सो दिस इज इक्वल टू साइन इन वर्स ऑफ हाफ डिवाइडेड सॉरी हाफ नहीं टू बाई थ्री इज डिवाइडेड बाई फोर बाई थ्री या फाइनली साइन इन वर्स हाफ एंड साइन इन वर्स हाफ इज थ्री जीरो थर्टी डिग्री साइन इन वर्स हाफ इज इक्वल टू द थर्टी डिग्री ऑप्शन नंबर ए साइन थर्टी डिग्री इज हाफ ना सो करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन नंबर ए द वेरी वेरी करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन नंबर ए नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन कंसिडर द फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट फॉर अ लैग लीड कंपनसेटर दिस इज फॉर अ लैग लीड कंपनसेटर ओके इट इज अ कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ लैग कंपनसेटर एंड लीग येस इट इज एक्चुअली अ कैस्केट कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ लैग एंड लीग नेटवर्क ओके द लैग सेशन हैज वन रियल पोल एंड वन रियल जीरो विद द पोल टू द राइट ऑफ द जीरो नाउ देखो आई एल समराइज समथिंग ओके यहां पर है लैग लीड नेटवर्क की बात हो रही है ओके एंड देयर कैन बी लीड लैग नेटवर्क एज वेल ओके वॉट डज इट प्राइमरीली मीन दैट इफ यू वॉन्ट टू कंसिडर विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू द पोल जीरो प्लॉट स्पेशली लैग लीड ओके फर्स्ट लैगिंग पार्ट एंड लैगिंग पार्ट मीन्स पोल डोमिनेंस लैगिंग पार्ट मीन्स पोल डोमिनेंस एंड पोल डोमिनेंस विल कम वेन देर इज अ पोल क्लोजर टू द रीजन एंड देन जीरो देन फॉलोड बाई लीड एंड इन द लीड देर विल बी अ जीरो फर्स्ट एंड देन पोल okay there will be a zero first and then pole so you can call it as p z z p configuration similarly if i want to talk about the lead lag network if i want to talk about the lead lag network ye bhi dhyan rakhna with respect to lead lag lead comes first and lead comes first that means okay first jo pole zero configuration hoga that is corresponding to lead and already i explained you for lead what you should have pole do zero dominance तो पहले आएगा जीरो देन अ पोल देन फॉलोड बाय लैग कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स लैग में पहले पोल आता है फिर जीरो सो इवेंचुअली इट बिकम जेड पी पी जेड जेड पी पी जेड सो आई देर विल बी टू पोल्स बिटवीन टू जीरो और देर विल बी टू जीरो बिटवीन द टू पोल्स दैट इज वॉट इज द पॉसिबिलिटी ओके द फर्स्ट वन इज लैग लीड एंड दिस इज लीड लैग ओके दिस इज नोन एज लैग डोमिनेंस पहले लैग आएगा फर्स्ट लैग कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स इवन इफ आई वॉन्ट टू टॉक इन टर्म्स ऑफ द फेस रिस्पॉन्स ओके even if i want to talk in terms of the phase response in terms of what in terms of the phase response with frequency in terms of what in terms of phase response what will be first pole dominance okay first pole dominance ka matlab first lag will come okay so lagging phase so there will be negative phase in the system okay and then the leading case will start that will try to pull the phase up then there will be this leading phase added to the system this is the phase characteristics approximately for lead lag first the leading characteristic that is the positive phase leading phase means positive phase and then due to the lag network the phase will decrease will go to the minima and then stops at zero these are roughly the characteristics out of which we all know that this is the lagging zone lag first and then lead okay why lag first because pole is the most dominant here this is known as lead lag lead first and then lag why lead first because zero is the most dominant and that is why the first leading characteristics are observed this is all observed through derivations again for more de derivations you can watch the detailed classes of controller compensator last okay well question practice kar rahe hain so it is a combination of lag and lead okay the lag section has one real pole and one real zero with the pole to the right of the zero lag section dekhna lag section dekhna hum lag lead ki baat kar rahe hain this one is the lag section ओके विद द पोल टू द राइट ऑफ द जीरो करेक्ट है ना विद द पोल टू द राइट ऑफ जीरो ओके दिस वन इज नोन एज द लैग 
दिस वन इज नोट दैट द लीड दिस इज कमिंग फ्रॉम द लीड ठीक है सिमिलरली यहां पे वाई सी वर्षा होगा दिस वन इज द लीड केस दिस वन इज द लैग केस सो इन द लैग लीड हम तो इसकी बात कर रहे हैं क्वेश्चन इज ऑन लैग लीड कंपनसेटर ओके सो पोल इज टू द राइट ऑफ जीरो इन द लैग नेटवर्क पोल इज टू द राइट ऑफ जीरो हंड्रेड परसेंट करेक्ट ओके तो फर्स्ट और ट्रू था सेकेंड भी ट्रू हुआ थर्ड लीड सेक्शन हैज वन रियल पोल एंड वन रियल जीरो विद जीरो टू द राइट इन द लीड सेक्शन इन द लीड सेक्शन जीरो इज टू द राइट ऑफ पोल जीरो इज टू द राइट ऑफ पोल करेक्ट करेक्ट सो थर्ड इज ऑल्सो ट्रू विच ऑफ दी अब आर करेक्ट देन माई आंसर इज ऑप्शन नंबर डी वन टू थ्री देन माई आंसर इज द ऑप्शन नंबर डी ओके देन माई आंसर इज ऑप्शन नंबर डी ठीक है डन है नेक्स्ट वन The lag system of lag lead. See, it's a repeated question. Previous one was some 2021 question. Actually, ये 21 में sort of repeat बोलूँगा. There is a 2019 question. Okay, देखो. The lag system of lag lead. Again, lag lead compensator के lag system की बात करना है. Has one pole and one zero. Then the pole and zero are real. Okay, and and lag. ये diagram वापस देख लेंगे ना. Pole is to the right of zero. Pole is to the right of zero. Pole is to the right of zero. Option number B. so both are just similar questions only okay both are just similar question only theek hai chalo yeah one more question was there i think wo skip hua tha the attenuation produced by a lead is again on lead compensator okay right now i told you something about lead compensator humne kya discuss kiya tha okay we discussed that the lead compensator can be written as s plus zc upon s plus pc but it is zero dominance so zc is less than the pc ZC is less than the PC. Okay, now frequency at which maximum phase lead occurs. Okay, this frequency is given by root AB. Okay, root AB means this is written as S plus A upon S plus B. Let us consider it this way. Okay, let us consider it this way. Okay, but in root AB it is not clear whatever they are calling it as A. Okay, maybe S plus B upon S plus AB लिख सकते हैं. So what I can do is, what I can do is, what are the corner frequencies? कॉर्नर फ्रीक्वेंसी भी निकालना बताया दैट इज जेड सी एंड जेड पी ओनली ओके सो दिस ओमेगा एम एक्चुअली एज वी मैं इट इज द ज्योमेट्रिक मीन ऑफ द टू कॉर्नर फ्रीक्वेंसी ओके दैट इज जेड सी एंड पी सी ओके दैट इज ओमेगा एम इज गिवेन बाय रूट ओवर ऑफ जेड सी एंड पी सी रूट ओवर ऑफ जेड सी एंड पी सी ओके एंड देन द एटिन्यूएशन एट दिस पर्टिकुलर फ्रीक्वेंसी इज गिवेन बाय The attenuation is this particular frequency is given by what? Okay. The attenuation at this particular frequency is given by what? Okay. The attenuation actually ये कैसे आता है? I'll take one more slide here to explain you this particular thing. Okay. The at कहाँ पे omega m की बात कर रहे हैं? At omega m, the attenuation is given by actually alpha if you recall with that particular term 1 plus st upon 1 plus s alpha t theek hai now alpha is what alpha t upon t alpha is what alpha t upon t theek hai yes correct correctly okay manasvi the attenuation is actually alpha that formula you have correctly recalled okay ab dekho what is this term this can be written as s plus 1 by t okay if you divide if you divide by t okay if you divide by t and this can be written as यहाँ पे alpha common निकाल लेंगे and then when you divide by t s plus one by alpha t s plus one by alpha t okay so alpha t upon t अब देखो it can be further written as one by t divided by one by alpha t one by t upon one by alpha t now what is one by t that is z c what is a one by alpha t that is p c that is p c okay so attenuation is actually z c upon p c actually zc upon pc right okay so attenuation is actually given by zc upon pc but now from this formula we can't say whether it is root b or root root b by a or root a by b bhai it is root ab but whether a is equal to zc or whether b is equal to pc we can't say na okay we can't say okay omega m is root ab so isliye iska actual answer can be a or d both can be a or d both bhai we don't know na omega m is root ab but that is also equal to root ba 
by A into B is B into N. They have not specified this clearly and that is why maybe this is ZC and this is PC or vice versa. Maybe ZC equal to B or Z, uh, PC equal to A. Okay, ultimately what I want is ZC upon PC. What I want is ZC upon PC. Okay, ZC upon PC. So whether A by B aega ya B by A aega, that we can't say for sure. Okay, that is why any one out of the A or D can be the answer. Any one out of the A or D can be the answer. Ye dhyan rakhna hai. Okay, ye dhyan rakhna hai. Hame. Any one of them can be the answer. Okay, and I think in the official answer ki also, they have finally declared the answer as A and D both. Official answer may be A and D. Tha, ek check kar sakte, 2019 mein. Rest, this was done. Lag lead network. This was also lag lead compensator. Yeah, this is again all the pole zero configuration. This is the pole zero configuration of the transfer function of a compensator and the corresponding Bode plot. Okay, the configuration is indicative of what? Okay, P, Z, Z, P. Definitely there is a correction here. Definitely there is a correction in the diagram. Okay, it is clearly noted that, it is clearly noted that pole will come first. There are two real poles with negative relation. Pole is not on the origin. Pole is not on the origin. Okay, so the diagram should start. Okay, okay, pole here should start. This is not correct. Okay, this portion is not correct. Isko main erase kar deta hu. Okay, now let me erase this actually. Okay. So, now it is very clear that what type of dominance is coming up here? Okay, sabse pehle pole dominant aya. Sabse pehle pole dominant. So first thing that is coming is the lag. First thing that is coming is the lag part. Then what is coming is the lead part. So, this should be lag lead. This should be lag lead. Option number B. Finish. It should be lag lead. Option number B. Observe. See, once you study the parameters I told you, so very simple questions are there from the compensators. Either lag lead or lead compensator. Conditions kya hongi. What are the conclusions with respect to bandwidth or rise time or stability or etc. Stability or etc. Chalo, this is done. Also guys, the complete courses for gate and engineering services are for one year and two year available on the Baiju's exam prep. But also now the gate crash course for all the gate 2024 aspirants. Okay, if you have not started but still uh, dreaming to conquer, it is still possible. But yes, you have to manage your time accordingly. So we bring to you a crash course that will again cover the complete syllabus. Okay, but in the limited span of time, the class timings will be so adjusted that you cover up. Okay. Okay, but in the given time only, live classes, recorded classes, study material, mock test, practice quiz, everything are available. You can enroll now and study with the best faculty team of the nation. And also guys, as I told you, I'll give you the telegram, uh, the P my PDF in the telegram. Okay, PDF will definitely be password protected. So please note down the password, controllers and compensators. Simple password rakhte hain aaj. Controllers and compensators. The password for today's PDF will be just CC. Controller, compensator, controller, compensator, small, everything in small, CC, okay, everything in small, please note down everything is in small, okay, that's it guys, bye bye, good night, stay safe and take care of yourself, this was engineering services, previous year questions from the controllers and compensators.